Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 8, Introduction to Logs, Home Review, Part 4. We are going to be hopefully wrapping up the whole review for this. And uh, if you have not got a chance, please watch Parts 1, 2, and 3 to catch all the wonderful goodness of the rest of these questions. And also, if you find any of these videos helpful, please give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications to be alerted when new videos are added. So number 10, in chemistry, the pH of a solution is defined by the equation pH equals negative log H, where H represents the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. A solution with a pH less than 7 is considered basic, and a solution with a pH greater than 7 is, is considered, sorry, and if a pH less than 7 is acidic, and a pH greater than 7 is called to consider basic. So fill in the table below, round your pH to the nearest tenth of a unit. So we're going to take these values and plug them into our calculator uh, to find out the pH values, and then we'll record them and determine if basic or acidic. Let's pull out our calculator. Okay, so... It is going to be negative log, so in this case, we type in negative log, and now for each of the numbers, the first one was 1, was 1 1.6 times 10 to the 7th, so 1.6 times 10, raised to, it says here, the negative 7th, so we have negative 7, negative 7, okay, and we're going to close parentheses here, and we'll get, in this case, 6.79. Well, actually, we round this off to be 6.6.8 .6 because we get rise near 10th. Now, we'll just plug in here. We'll go up here, copy this, and the next number is going to be 1.3. and we're and that's 10 to negative five. So we we'll change the seven to a five, and hit enter, and we get. 4.886 or 4.9. Again, take it to the nearest tenth. Repeat this again. And we're just kind of plugging in the answers and all. The nice thing is that we're just copying this down and we're just typing over the other other numbers. It's basically the same form. So 2.5 tends to the 10 to the negative 13. Oh, we're gonna need to add something here. So so 13. Okay. And we get 12.6. Ooh. 12.6, you know, 0 rounds 12.6. We will again copy this and we're going to replace this with 7.9. So 7.9. And this is times 10 to the negative 2. So I'm going to plug in a 2 here and delete the 3. And we hit enter. We get 1.1. And finally, for the last one, we hit enter. We're going to type in, in this case, 1.6 times 10 to the six, negative 6 power. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6. And this is 5.79, 5, but really 5.8. It's interesting that this last one was really very close to our first one because the first one was 1.6 on 10 to the negative 7 and this was 1.6 on 10 to the negative 6 and it looks like the values for if we want to scroll, we're going to scroll up and all we can see we went from 5.8 for the last one and 6.8 for the first one so they're off by one interesting not only that they're also off by one as far as the x uh, exponent goes the first one was 10 to the negative 7 the second was 10 to the negative 6. so let's plug in the values so, our pH for milk would be 6.8. The pH for coffee was 4.9. The pH for bleach, 12.6, very high. The pH for lemon juice, 1.1. And the pH for rain, which is very close to water, is 5.8. So we see here that, interesting in this case, we see here that, again, any pH less than 7 would be considered acidic. So milk is slightly acidic. That's less than 
7. All right, less than 7, definitely coffee would be acidic. Greater than 7 would be basic, so this would be a base. As, and lemon juice 1.1, very acidic. And 5.8, that's acidic as well, too. One might think it's acid rain. So we see here, really not the first numbers of the, really not the first numbers of the, um, of the scientific notation. It really, is the exponents that really, really power this in this situation with the logs. Remember, the pH is found by taking negative log of the concentration of hydrogen, and so our 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 exponents really push us to the values here. So. You know, very close, very close in this case. Almost like in this case that the negative seven gave us a po almost close to positive seven. Negative five gave us close to more positive five. The negative thirteen gave us uh, gave us a number close to positive thirteen. The negative two, well, well, negative two is uh, one point one's is positive one point one is kind of close to two. And then negative six is very close to the positive. You know, in this case, the idea of change the sign. Uh, this was positive six and a uh, five point is very close to that as well too. Okay. Can the value of log base 2 of negative 4 be found? Well, let's take a look. Now, we know it, log base 2 of negative 4 raised to the n power, or equal, equals n, sorry, equals n, can be expressed as 2 to the n equals negative 4. And we find here that if you have a positive number, a positive number with the base, no matter what we are going to try to plug in for n, we're going to, we never get a negative number. Like, for example, I know what 2, if we pick a number to the very big, 2 to the very big number, it would be just way positive. But 2 to the very small number, if we take 2 to the very small number, let's clear everything. Oh, can we, you know what, I'll just bring it all the way down here and clear all this. If we take 2 to a very small number, like in this case, negative 10, notice how it's still a little bit less than before. Now, just for the record, all right, 2 to negative 1 is 1 over 2. 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 1 over 2 squared. 2 to negative 10 is 1 over 1 over 2 to the 10th power. And so from multiplying by keep getting more negative, I'm really multiplying by one half. If I'm multiplying one half and one half and one half, one half, there's no way that I'm gonna get a negative number because I'm keep multiplying by positive numbers. So here our answer will be no. Not possible. Because if because when you multiply a positive number with another positive number, you will never get a negative number. Okay? So put this up here, this answer. Okay. And that's the reason why, no, not possible. So it cannot be found. Now let's take a look at log base 2 of 0. We'll try that out. So we say log base 2 of log base 2. I almost write the log 2. So log base 2 of 0 equals n. That means that 2 to the n is equal to 0. Well, this is not possible either because in this case, when you multiply, when you multiply any non-zero number, with any other non-zero number, you will never get zero. The only way to get a zero as a product is if only if one number is zero, but if you never multiply by zero, you will never get zero. So not possible. So the answer is not possible. And of course, the reason why you multiply a non-zero number with a non-zero number, we will never get zero. So no, not possible. So here, not possible. 
not possible. And so what does it tell us about domain of X? Now, whatever base we use, because our bases always have to be greater than zero. We cannot have a base greater than zero. Uh, as we, we cannot have a base that's, that's, that's equal to zero or less than zero or one. So our base has to be greater than zero uh, and can equal one. So if that's the case, we will say the following. The domain for log base b of x. I'm going to make this little subscript here. So it just sort of matches up. So domain for log base b of x, right, will always be greater than zero. Okay, meaning whatever x only plug in there has to be greater than zero. Can't be negative and can't be zero. So that's why we had no power domain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all of the views we get and all. And if you have any, have any questions or comments, please leave in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you what you thought about these videos. Maybe how we explain a little better, if anything, because, you know, I can most definitely can use your help and, and comments and such. So please do so. And, of course, a like would be fantastic. Please, please give us a video a like if you found it helpful. And uh, again, if you have not done so already, we're looking for new subscribers, as always, and uh, share, you know, share the video if you found it helpful. You know, let students who are struggling with this material just let them know, well, the logs are not as crazy or scary as they sound sometimes. Anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and be safe.